YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What's going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deirdre Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. All right, so today we're here to do a full review on a fragrance that has <laughs> blown my mind. All right, so, but first, my good family, hopefully everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. I know how we rock here on this channel. I truly hope everyone is doing great. All right, so I'm very excited to talk about this fragrance today. Um, I'm not gonna lie, over the past couple of weeks, you know, I've uh, I've been acquiring some new uh, fragrances, and a lot of them from the niche level. All right, but this one in particular absolutely blew my mind. So I'm very excited to talk about it uh, today. So we're gonna be discussing a fragrance that's very popular in the community. I'm a little late to the party, but I'm very happy to have this in my collection from the house of BDK Parfums Petit. We have Gris Chanel, the extract. The extract, beautiful bottle, I love it. You got the BDK, get that in focus there. You got a nice, um, it's not magnetic, it just kind of snaps into place as you can hear the snap. I don't know if y'all was able to catch that. Yep, goes in a, snaps into place. Very nice, sleek, beautiful bottle design. You have a BDK imprint, so you probably won't be able to see that. Let's see if I a small BDK imprinted at the top, and uh, pretty much nothing else. Very classy, sleek, beautiful. Love the black tone, um, the hue of this fragrance for sure. Very, very nice. And in the box, nothing really too special. This was very hard to get open. I'm not gonna take it out because it's supposed to be a slip out, and it just doesn't. It doesn't come right out, but it does have a great um, great presentation on the box. On the side, you have uh, BDK Parfum Gris Chanel Extrait uh, on the sides there. Um, and you have it on both sides and nothing really at the bottom. So I do like the box, but it was very hard to get this fragrance out of the box. All right, so we're gonna be talking about performance. We're gonna be talking about my thoughts. We're gonna talk about what's in the fragrance and uh, I'm gonna give it a rating and let you know if I, well, who or, you know, who I recommend for, or whatever, you know, whoever watches the video, whatever your mindset is towards this style of a fragrance. So the way I discovered this fragrance was um, uh, on my live streams. If you don't watch um, my live streams, I have them. And um, I do um, a series that I used to do on my videos, but I do it on my live streams now. It is called What's in the Bag. So I get to smell brand new fragrances to my nose for the very first time live. All right, live, authentic real first impressions and i have a discussion with the smell good family who's present uh in the chat so i ordered me a small sample of the original gris chanel ordered it um i got it in and i was very excited to see what it was about well upon me smelling it or experiencing it for the first time a lot of members of the smell good family were letting me know hey skip it man go straight to the extreme and i was like huh Go to the extract, go to the extract. Everybody was saying, hey man, it's a little bit more this, it's a little bit more that. But I paused what they thought because I wanted to experience the DNA for myself and I indeed did that. And um, I was blown away by the DNA. And I, on the live stream, I said, hey, it better be this, it better be that, or I'm gonna get the original instead of the extract. Well, as you can see, I have the extract, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this fragrance, man. This is a very, very, Dense, slightly dark. You have some 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 earthy uh, touches to this from some vetiver in here. There's some tonka. There's some uh, bourbon vanilla in here. There's a slight spice in here as well. Just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance for sure. Um, there's a, a fig note in here. I believe there's also some iris in here. A very healthy breakdown. We'll get into the fish notes in just a second, but. This is something for the cooler temperatures. Um, I wouldn't call it the most versatile fragrance because I don't think that it is. I think is, is it situational? I, I don't know. Could you wear it every day in the fall and in the winter? Absolutely. You are gonna smell different, you're gonna smell unique, and you're gonna smell rare. Um, to me, this is something that just kinda forces me to uh, spend time with the fragrance by constantly wanting to smell it. And with my full wearings moving out and about, it just hovers around you. The sillage on this thing, it's absolutely great, it's excellent. And this is one of my top three pickups of the entire year of 2023. And I've smelled a lot of fragrances. I've been uh, I've been able to smell a lot of samples and decants, um, but adding full bottles is something of a, 
of an art form for me these days because I'm just not buying everything, buying everything. I definitely want to add to my collection in a way where things can stand out and this definitely does that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the notes and ironically, they have the notes right here on the box, but I'll have the notes up here so you guys can follow along. So uh, BDK, Parfums Petit, Gris Chanel the Extrait, you have an Essence Cardamom, which gives it that spice for sure. You have an Extrait, uh, it says Extrait the Noir, you have an Accord of Fee, an Absolute Iris, you have a Morocco note, you have Vetiver Bourbon, uh, uh, Madagascar, and Essence Patchouli, um, you have Absolute uh, van uh, Vanilla Absolute, you have Essential Santal, and you have Absolute Feve Tonka Bean, all right? So <laughs> this is what they give you. These are the notes, very luxurious and very uh, expensive, right? Very royal-like as I read those, right? Y'all agree? All right, so um, the notes, like I said before, this is an ex um, a very luxury, luxurious style of a fragrance. Niche fragrance for sure. There's, n there's not a lot of experiences that you're gonna get outside of what this can provide. And that's what makes it a part of it being niche for sure. So with the extrait level, you have your EDT, you have your EDPs, you have your parfums, and then you have your extrait to parfums which is the highest oil concentration that can legally be put uh, in a bottle of fragrance, legally, all right? So with that being said, it's very present. It's rich, it's uh, 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 heavy, um, and you can, it doesn't smell cheap in any way. Now I got this for a great deal on uh, Venba, no, Max Aroma. I got this for a great deal on Max Aroma. Um, still a steep price around that $200 mark, but this one goes retail 300 plus. It's kind of hard to get it um, um, for anything cheaper than that, but for a Black Friday sale, which I scored mine, here you go. All right, so the wear on this thing and the performance of this thing is awesome i've worn it out and about on a very cool day doing some christmas shopping and i've also worn it um to work and normally when i go to work i have to wear slacks i have to wear a button down um some hard bottoms I have to be very presentable in the position that i am uh, in my career so stepping into the office with this it was just a no-brainer how i was feeling i was feeling good i was feeling great and i believe i was smelling fantastic i did receive one compliment one compliment on the day that I wore this, it performed beautifully. The performance is something that a lot of people care about and I understand that. With this, I got 10 plus hours. Now, hear me, this is not a roaring beast mode fragrance. I only sprayed this six times. Yes, I'm a six to seven spray guy. Six times and I was able to really experience the fragrance on every level, top, middle, and base. And I work a 10 hour day, nine to 10 hour day mostly. And it was thriving just throughout the day, moving around, out and about, in and out of the office, in the elements, out the elements. It was around me for sure. So um, performance, nothing to worry about. Uh, you wanna be unique, nothing to worry about. You want quality, nothing to worry about. The sea yards on this thing, it travels, man. It travels, it travels. It, it wraps a cloud around you that people are gonna wanna be around if they get to someone's nose, they may want to have a conversation or dare compliment you or dare ask you what you're wearing, all right? So that is my experience from Grease Chanel. So who I recommend this for, I'm recommending it to someone who is confident, um, who doesn't really waver no matter what they're doing, um, the way they dress, their appearance. Um, just this is for a great date night. You can wear this with a suit. You can dress it down a tad bit. Um, I would even if I was if me and my wife got married in the fall, this would be a great wedding day fragrance. Yes, this gives off a romantic feel as well, a sexiness to it as well, and it is very unisex. But this one leans a little bit more masculine, especially with that vetiver giving that earthy touch to it as well. The original uh, Gris Chanel, it leans, I don't, it leans more slightly, it leans a little bit more feminine compared to this. I'll say that, but the DNA is present. It's present for sure. So. I'm happy with the straight. This is something when I'm dressed up, going to work to the office, or me and my wife are going out on a date, or if I'm going out, if I'm going to a wedding, all right? If I'm going to a wedding, these are 
this is the type of fragrance that I would like to represent me for sure as I'm represented from head to toe. Obviously, you gotta have yourself together wearing something like this in my opinion, in my opinion. So not a cheap fragrance, it just has a decent price tag on it, but in my opinion, it is worth the money. It is worth the money. Fellas, women love it. My wife would not stop smelling my hand. Um, she just wanted to be around the scent and um, she made it very, very clear that that still smells good. So she loves both of them. She loves the original and she loves the straight, but she did say, this is yes, this is you. This is your, more of your speed. So that is very real comments uh, from the misses. All right, so again, this is a fragrance that I definitely recommend. Uh, sample, 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 please. You can head over to Soul Avant Garden and use my code Dedrick20. Get you a sample, get you 20% off and um, you know, uh, save you some money and, and experience this before you go. I don't recommend blind buy anything, although I do it and I'm a member of the blind buy warriors for sure, but I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it at all. But this stuff is awesome. If I had to rank it, and I'm ranking it, not if I had to, but I'm gonna rank it. I'm gonna give this a nine out of a 10. I was very close to giving it a 10 out of a 10, but I'm, I don't wanna devalue what a 10 out of 10 is. I've only smelled a couple of 10 out of 10s. Now here's the thing with my rankings, over time they could go up. <laughs> my rankings could go up, but we're gonna go nine out, you know what, 9.2 out of a 10 is what we're gonna go with. This stuff is phenomenal. It is phenomenal and it is a great experience. Even if you don't even, even if you don't want a full bottle, I think it's great for everybody to experience this DNA, whether it's the original or the extreme. All right. So again, from the house of BDK Parfums, Paris, we have Gris Chanel, Gris Chanel, the extreme. All right, man. So that's gonna wrap up today's video, my full review on BDK Parfums, Paris. Gris Chanel, the extreme. Overly love the fragrance. I give it a high rating. I recommend it uh, for sure, but I also recommend sampling before buying a full bottle. All right, so smell good family. Let me know down below. What are your thoughts on this fragrance for sure? If you smelled it, if you experienced it, let me know what you guys think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it cool? Is it yay? Is it nay? Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of BDK Parfums, Petty, Gris Chanel, extreme. All right, so until next time, smell good family. Y'all know what it is. Splack up, splack it down, splack that thing all around. And remember, what you put out into this world, yes you, yes you, is exactly what you, specifically you, are going to get back, all right? Y'all be cool and uh, keep that splacker going, baby. Keep it going. Splacker!